This morning, we have the ability to continue our conversation, but we're talking about what's happening at the level of our seniors. This morning, I have the privilege of speaking with the chairman of the TTARP, which is the Trinidad and Tobago Association of Retired Persons, Mr. Shelby Cole. Good morning and welcome to Good Morning Tobago. Good morning, ma'am. It's a pleasure to have you. So we're talking about what's happening with the seniors. You guys have a number of activities that's buzzing and that's happening. You have a very vibrant presence here in Trinidad and Tobago as the association that's responsible for retirees. Mm -hmm. So this morning you are here to tell us all about what's going on at that level. Talk to us. Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, you did mention that um, you noticed that in Trinidad, and you are very up to date. Um, today, there is a health fair by our organization because it is TNT is Trinidad and Tobago. Um, and yes, the Trinidad arm, and all these sections in Trinidad, and if anybody's going down from Tobago um, with the transport situation, if possible. Um, yes, so we would, it's a health fair. And um, it's. Uh, a lot of giveaways and so on and so forth, but obviously because we know the situation in Tobago, we would want to have something of that nature also, okay. perhaps early next year, so that we could have that opportunity and maybe some of them could come across and so on and so forth. But it's, um, right, so that's one of the things and uh, because we try to occupy our members in various ways and uh, as you can see on, on the byline there, in, in Tobago, our particular section, one of our, we have two sections in Tobago, one in Pembroke, and we are in the western part of Tobago. Um, we are having a variety concert, and uh, that variety concert, it's about our ninth, and uh, we started years ago at Annette Alfred's premises in um, her little folk theater in um, Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. Then, um, eventually, because of the audience, we needed to get somewhere bigger. And we've, the library has been kind enough to allow us to have their premises in about the third year. And um, yes, so we feature mainly our own talent because we have, um, re again, retired doesn't mean that you are sitting down at home and doing nothing. We encourage our members to come out into the sunshine go on outings, get out of the house, just be careful wherever they go and how they do whatever they do. So yes, most of the drama and singing and so on will be our own members. We have a, a choir, formed choir, with some folk songs, a folk song medley and some calypsos. We do have some talented prose people and so on. And yes, we do have um, Lynette Louie is one of our guest artists. She is quite well known in Tobago as a vocalist, doing jazz and so on. And she has worked with the Kawirak, um band and combo and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. So, yes. Um, right. And so the Trinidad and Tobago Association of Retired Persons, for those who don't know, it's an association that caters to persons that are retired, but not necessarily. If you are almost going to retire, you can also join. I see that you have an uh, age of um, 50, Five zero, 50, from yeah. 50. As long as you have meet the 50 mark, you mm -hmm. can join. And so a lot of persons who are retired or who are on the verge of retirement worry about their social life. Mm -hmm. You know, worry about still being active and still maintaining relationships and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So at the Trinidad and Tobago Association of Retired Persons, you have created a community of persons who are about to retire or have recently retired, mm -hmm. have retired for a while, but are still very social, very active. I see that even on your website, you have had a number of parties and events for older folks that mm -hmm. really keep them active and mm -hmm. keep their brain you know, still ticking. Mm -hmm. Tell us about a number of other activities that you have facilitated here in Tobago to ensure that you can really engage that audience. Well, um, partly because of the um, inset of COVID, um, we started a WhatsApp group. And this is one of our main 
um, communication methods now because we have about 220 people in our um, WhatsApp group. There are other members who prefer not to be on the group, but we communicate to them otherwise. We do also have a Facebook page. We have our own email address in Tobago and so on. Um, activities, we went to Trinidad some months ago at uh, the Valencia Echo Resort and members took the time also to visit two malls very close to the airport because they traveled by plane to go and by plane to come back. And they even found a restaurant there that specializes in Tobago food. Okay. Right? So, but yes, we try to bring out our members every now and then. Valentine's Day, we, we, we big up ourselves because to love others, you need to love yourself first and so on and so forth. Um, we had something planned with our Pembroke group, but um, eventually that was stalled because they did not get to be on the heritage program okay. and we had sort of tied it in that we would go down when they were having a, 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 their heritage performance um, but yes and at Christmas we normally have a, a Christmas function most likely this year it might be a, a kind of cocktail setting and plus we have had some challenges with some of our restaurants and um, we believe we want to be in-house on this occasion and they bring in food from a recognized caterer and so on and so forth. Okay. And so the reason why you are really here this morning is because of that big concert that you guys are having. And is that one going to be facilitated at the Scarborough Library as well? Yeah, that, that is the one that is at the Scarborough Library. Okay. At, yeah, and on the 24th, which is two days from now, actually. And um, yeah, there are still some tickets left. Um, how much are the tickets? It's 120 and um, children would be at half price. Okay. Well, children, for our purposes, would count as about 12 years old. All right. And what time does the concert It starts at begin? 6. It starts at 6. Um, even those who may not come out after that time or don't drive, perhaps um, their son or daughter might you know, um, be able to bring them and so on and so forth. And just let me just mention one thing. When I was driving here this morning, and I reached around the highway by the lowlands, an elderly lady, and I am elderly too, was crossing the road. And I was next to, so I put up my hand to stop and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. That's large, this great place by um, this wide, by um, um, Violet's place and the um, Cards restaurant, Cards um, grocery. Okay, so she did get across, and there was a car right behind me. But what occurred to me is, well, his or her lack of respect. Because as soon as, he only stopped because I stopped. And immediately after that, I mean, he was able to, he passed me and he went on his way. And that taught me a lesson about respect for the elderly. And it's, I mean, just want to remind people, it's very important because one day, all of us, will get older. In fact, every day we get older. Right. And um, it's good, you know, and for children to remember their parents and that sort of thing. So in between, we teach all these things. We have um, the money, money programs, you know, the credit card, the this, the that, the goods and the bads about all these things. So we try to do a all over function. Um, September is the month of Alzheimer's. Right. We normally um, remind the people about the dangers and the possible preventions and so on and so forth. So, yes. Um, All, right. All right. Thank you so much. Well, you know, we look forward to a successful variety concert on, um, on the 24th, Saturday, yes, which is Saturday. this Saturday at the Scarborough Library starting from 6 p.m. If you are a retiree or know a retiree or have a retiree in your household, this might be the, a great opportunity for you to get them a ticket and get them out of the house and get them engaged. So we want to thank you so much, Mr. Cole. Is there anything else you want to well, assure we, us? We'd want to, um, we hope to be able to send some snaps for you and maybe we, we might be able to get something onto YouTube ourselves and so on. And as you yourself know, the organization has a, a website, 
which is www.tap.co.com. And then we have a Facebook page too, Tap Tobago. And um, basically, surprisingly, some of our members didn't come to us in Tobago. They came to because of the online system. And then we, when their names are sent to us, then we introduce ourselves to them. Okay. Because of, I suppose, what they would call technology now. This is one of the... But we aim and trying to get in touch with all our members over here. All right. So you can go ahead and check them out on their website at www.ttarp.org. And you can join and become a member for a very low admission fee of only $10 as well as your annual subscription fee. So... That's it. We are looking forward to you having this concert on Saturday. Again, the venue is the Scarborough Library at 6 p.m. Adults are $120 and children are half price off. Thank you so much. We'll take a break right here and we're going to be back right after this. See you soon, guys. Thank you, ma'am.